own 75 hard type. It might be considered 75 soft. I'm not really sure um, which one it technically is considered. I'm already wearing my Apple Watch because um, today is Sunday. We're starting tomorrow, Monday. And um, so I'm tracking just to see like about how much like activity I normally get um, day to day just on like a rest day because um, with our plan of doing it, we're kind of taking things from 75 hard, but we're also kind of taking our own approach because um, we decided that Sundays are a rest day no matter what because your body does need to rest. I know the whole point of 75 hard is not getting a rest day, but um, with having a child and we're both in school right now, it's just a lot easier if we do take a rest day. So Sundays are a rest day to kind of chill, chillax. Um, we're gonna be watching church because the church that we go to is actually, I guess technically like two and a half hours away because we moved um, back to Oxford. So Sundays are a rest day on Mondays and Wednesdays. So he goes in person, he has labs for his program. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, he has labs that are in the afternoon. So that's gonna kind of mess up our workouts. Right now he doesn't on Monday, Wednesdays have any lab, but on Mondays he does just because the weather's so hot and his Wednesday lab is outside. So every day except for Sunday, we will go work out at the gym in the morning before he has to go to school on Mondays and Wednesdays because that's the only time he goes in person. I'm online completely, so I don't really have to worry about that. I can do my school whenever. But um, so Mondays will look a little bit different. So in the morning we'll work out, go to class and everything, lab, all that good stuff. So usually what we're gonna do on the other days is in the like late afternoon evening we're gonna go walk at this park because 475 hard it says to do you know one workout inside one workout outside for 45 minutes each time which we're not really worried about that because when we walk we just walk the park twice which is like three miles and it will definitely be um 45 minutes for sure um but so mondays we won't walk the park and Wednesdays we won't once he starts lab. So we're kind of giving our own, you know, unique thing for 75 hard. We are following a diet plan. Our diet plan is to not eat out because we've gotten in the habit of just eating out because it's quicker, it's easier, you know, not having to cook, deal with our baby and everything. And school, it's just a lot, but we're planning on finding a way to just cook our meals or have, you know, some pre-prepared if we have to, just not eating out. That is our main thing, no eating out. Um, which we can always add to that if we wanted to later down the road, if we get in the use, if we get in like the habit, you know, of actually cooking our meals and things. Um, we'll still have probably some bad snacks or ice cream or whatever every now and again, but I mean, that's life, of course. Um, so another thing with 75 Hard is you have to read 10 pages. I think it's a nonfiction book, I believe. It's supposed to be like a self-help book. So I'm choosing to read my Bible because I've never actually read it all the way through. And I would like this to kind of jumpstart me to where I can actually read the whole thing through because there's some things that, you know, you've never really heard of if you've never even read it all the way through because preachers and Sunday school teachers or devotions and stuff, they only hit on like the main topics that are always heard about so i kind of just want to branch out and actually get through it i've tried so many times but i always end up falling off and not actually doing it so this time around i would like to actually do it and the main reason we even chose 75 hard is because we want the mentality i used to be so determined with working out and getting good and reading my bible and doing all the things that i want to do but i've just kind of lost that over the period of time and for he and I, we just really want what's best for our daughter and what's best for her is if we are in a good mindset, if we are good spiritually, mentally, physically, to where when she starts crawling around and stuff, we can actually, you know, be right there with her and not be out of breath or tired or be like, oh my gosh, we gotta catch her, but I can't move that fast. I mean, already she's almost 15 pounds and I mean, my arms kill me every day and i don't want that i want to be able to pick her up and not be hurting all the time and be like oh well, i can't hold her all the time i need to set her down because my arms are killing me like that shouldn't be an issue i should be able to hold her anytime i need to or she needs me to you know and 
if I'm not in shape, I can't do that. And then mentally, I mean, if she's crying or something and I'm just not having a good day, I need to be able not to just stress out and freak out. I need to be able just to be calm, centered, and okay to take care of her the right way and not get so angry and have to just leave the room, which I know is still normal. It still happens even if you are in a mentally good place. And then spiritually, we want her to be how we were as kids and grow up in church and know about God and learn all the things you learn. So as long as we are putting forth the effort into everything, we think um, that our version of 75 Hard will actually help us get in the right mindset and everything. And we just need a jump start to make it happen where we are actually dedicated to it and this should help. Um, another point of 75 Hard that I forgot to say was you also have to drink a gallon of water. I believe that's the only other thing. So you read, um, you drink a gallon of water, do two exercises, one outside, one inside, 45 minutes each. Um, what else did I say? A diet, you follow a diet plan, your choice, which is really nice. Um, I think that's it. I might be forgetting one, but I don't think I am. So um, I actually have some cleaning to do today and tomorrow I'm actually going to take y'all with me on our first day of doing 75 hard. So um, keep watching if you still want to see what our first day entails. We are, we're actually having to get up uh, pretty early in the morning. We're going to bed early as well so that way we can get up early enough um, because our gym currently is an hour away. So not ideal. They're actually going to be getting one here in Oxford come, I think it's October 20th. We use Planet Fitness. Um, but right now we have to go to the one and two below. So a little bit of a drive for right now, but October 20th is literally only like a little over a month away. So thankfully we won't have to be driving that far. And it'll also help with um, us actually being able to get up and go and do, we won't be like, oh, it's an hour drive. It'll be like, oh, it's right down the road. We can just go. But yeah, I uh, hope y'all We'll just keep watching. I do have more videos I plan to put out. I've talked about it in other videos, but um, just subscribe if you actually want to see our 75 hard journey. I will be sharing. Um, oh, you have to take a picture. I just remember, you're supposed to take a picture every day. We're probably only gonna do it like once a week, um, just cause time and everything. We don't have all the time in the world to be doing certain things so we'll probably take a picture like once a week um anytime I do a video about it I will show you like the differences between like my pictures um and like weight wise where I'm starting and where I'm gonna finish I will go ahead and say that my last weight I went to the doctor three days ago three days ago I was 244 pounds so when I started um before pregnancy I was 260 and during pregnancy I didn't gain any weight um, which was very good because of me being overweight it's not the best to gain a lot while you're pregnant which is what my um, OBGYN informed me of so I tried to stay pretty within my weight range I ended up only gaining like two pounds I think and then after having her I lost 30 pounds which I don't know how that happened uh, it's unheard of like you know usually you have like a a bump still after mine was flattened. I didn't have like a pregnant belly still, which I don't know if that's normal for anybody else because I've only ever seen where you still have like almost bloated from all the um, fluids and such. But yeah, so I was 230, so or 235, so I gained a little bit, you know, in the last couple weeks or I guess two months. And so now I'm just going to try to see weight wise. It's not really the goal. The goal is just to be able to live my daily life and not struggle. So if I lose weight, yay. If I don't, okay. Not a big deal. So today I'm actually going to be doing some cleaning. We have lots of dishes. Disgusting. Been soaking. Lovely. Um, also dirty. And watching and getting get caught up on YouTube. 
my baby is sleeping. Let me show you real quick. in her bottles. I will put all those up later. This area is also looking a lot better. I mean, we just leave all the stuff out like we're going to be working out soon so we have all our stuff out. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me over the washing machine going, but the only thing I have found, which most people use, I believe, to get the like milk stains out of things like I'll show you I don't know if you can see it but on my white shirt there's some milk stains on her outfit there's some stains you can see like the discoloration so if you use shout any shout it doesn't matter I mean this is just one I always use to black thing and then everyone knows you use drift I don't know if anybody that uses any else in draft honestly it's the best thing to use for babies never tried any natural things because i don't know her allergies or anything or if she may have any so i'm just being safe and the drift hasn't done anything and the shout hasn't so if it works don't fix it Honestly, I probably over soaked them. I don't know if you can tell, I like drenched them. This one I just kind of folded up. But I always let them soak while one load is going. So that way I can just let those soak and then I have a whole nother load to do. So I don't know if you can hear, but she is screaming for me. Gotta go. So I decided I would just end the video here. And I will just do like a first week of 75 hard in my next video. So thank you so much for watching and get ready for more content.